What's going on, my fellow nerds and geeks? Today, I'm sure you saw the thumbnail. This is very, very cool. I have an unboxing to do of this box. It came yesterday. I am actually just got home from a bachelor party, so I'm tired. Not quite hungover, but just tired. Uh, so this came yesterday. Had to be signed for. Luckily, my wife was home, so she could sign for it. But I have been anxiously awaiting getting this in the mail. And I've already seen people posting pictures of the ones they got. Uh, but, yeah. This was actually... Uh, when I went to the HQ... The Funko HQ grand opening. This was the one thing that I missed out on. Because they only... Each one was was limited to a uh, 125 pieces. So, oh, see, this is cool. This is just the same as uh, I'll wait to show that, but it's it's the same as when I got the other thing from these guys, and they actually have packing peanuts, but they individually boxed each one. That is awesome. So, I guess we'll just do one at a time, and once you see the first one, you're going to know what the rest of them are. <laughs> It'll be like a mystery inside of a mystery. Just to see which one gets open. Oh, wow. Man, they packed it inside and packed it. So holy cow, they did a great job packaging. So this is the first one in the set. And it is the only one of these guys I have not met. And it is the comic book men. And it is Walt Flanagan. And the only reason why I have not met him is when they did the Funko Grand opening, all the comic book men were there except for him because he does not fly so that is super cool and they're all autographed as well so uh when these things went live actually the the uh i'll show you the side the website crashed i mean it 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 crashed completely so there is that one and so yeah it was like it took i want to say it was probably from the time it went live it took a half hour to check out and i got all the way to the cart with them and i'm sitting there and i kept hitting the the paper i'm like i kept hitting submit 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 and it kept doing, you know, thinking, 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 and then it would go back. So I'd have to hit submit again, go back. Hit, and I kept doing it, and then all of a sudden I hit it, and it was like, shopping cart empty. And so I didn't get a confirmation. Like, normally it'll say thank you for your order or whatever. I didn't get that. So my first thought was, I, I missed them. So I was a little upset. I was like, oh, this sucks. And then I noticed that it was actually out of the account. So... Then I got a confirmation email about a half hour later. So the next one I got is Ming Chen. And I actually talked to him at Emerald City Comic Con. And so he had, like, I had all my pop stuff on and he asked me, he's like, oh, did you, were you able to get him? I said, yeah, I was. Uh, he was super cool about it. And he said, oh yeah, we've got them all signed. They're actually gonna come out earlier than, than had been expected. So, um, yeah, I was, I was super, super stoked. I did notice that there is a little bit of a crease on the box here. Not bad. You can't really tell. So, and you can, it's a little dusty. But, I mean, they did such a good job with the packaging on these. So, we'll put Ming back there. So, who are we going to get next?
And I love how they all have their own shirt, like different shirts on and stuff. And so this time we got Michael Zap, Zap, Zap. I can't even say his name right now. <laughs> But these guys were so cool to meet at uh, the the HQ grand opening. Hmm. You can kind of see there's like a few paint flaws on them, but like I say, it doesn't matter. These things are so awesome, and the fact that like I was excited to get them, and then the fact that they were like, "Oh, we're gonna autograph them too," I was like, "Oh, that's just." That is, that was cool. That was definitely added in. So then all we have left is one guy. And he is Kevin Smith's best friend in real life. If you guys did not know, they grew up together. And that is Brian Johnson. And, oh man, they did a great job with his big, huge beard. If you guys have ever seen the show, you know that he has got a massive, massive beard. And they did such a good job. You can actually kind of see how it hangs down off of the face instead of being like a lot of them. Like his. You can actually see they just painted the beard on because he's got a, it's more, I mean, it's a really, really, uh, light beard where Brian's is just huge. I mean, he's got a giant beard. So, uh, they did a great job. I like, I noticed that in some, some people actually got some with different colored, uh, pens. So when they did, they signed, they did sign different colors. I like that mine are all the same. So, uh, give you the side shot there. What shirt is he wearing? You can't really tell. But, and then here is, I'll show you the back now. I do have the uh, Kevin Smith as well. Ooh, it's got a little bit of a box damage on it. Not bad, just just enough to notice it. Then it's got the uh, the Jay and Silent Bob logo on it. It's got the secret stash, comic book men. So the other one actually said uh, the other set of these that was the Funko HQ exclusive. They actually say comic book men over over the top. So these are the secret stash versions. And they're wearing different shirts in those. So that is very cool. And then I'll show you this. This actually came when I got the uh, the Kevin Smith. It came with one of these two. And I think this is such a cool idea. It's a little postcard. And then it says on the back, here they are, a very limited secret stash pops. Thank you for ordering. So very, very cool. I've got the other one that with the Kevin Smith that he sent. So this is one of, I mean, I, I get a lot of pops. I buy a lot of this kind of stuff. And this is one of the coolest things that I've seen um, the companies do is actually put in the little postcards. So I love that. So that is it. That is the set of the Secret Stash comic book men. So I am, I knew that I would never get the, the HQ versions just because they're they're way way too expensive but i did get the kevin smith hq and i got i've i don't have like all the kevin smiths but i do have all the ones of him in this i don't have the the fat mans there's two the red i don't have those but i've got all the other kevin smith and i it makes it more interesting because i've actually met these guys and i met kevin smith so it's it it's cool to have their pops and to have them autographed is awesome so that is it that is the un uh, the reveal of the secret stash comic book men awesome now i'm going to go put them in hard protectors and then go to bed take a nap something i'm tired i'm, I'm gonna go to sleep so <laughs> as always like subscribe and don't forget to ring that bell in there if you want to get that new content and as always stay awesome <laughs>